Good morning. Uh, my name is Bruce Crawford. I'm the director of Rutgers Gardens. Uh, right now we're standing in the shrub garden. Uh, one of the, the interesting things about the shrub garden is that it has this large open area of uh, predominantly obviously turf. And people right now as you're looking at uh, early part to the mid part of April you're going well, what do I do with my lawn? How do I approach it? It's been a long winter. Uh, so always one of the first things you should do whether it's turf grass or whether it's vegetable gardening um, is get a soil test done. Uh, people just start to apply fertilizer and don't realize that they may not need uh, as many phosphate or as uh, much nitrogen as they think they do. So uh, getting a soil test uh, done will tell you how much fertilizer to actually apply. Uh, you can get the uh, soil test kits at any of the um, local uh, county extension agents. Um, they'll also have more information about your local area. So if you have a particular disease or an issue with your turf, uh, you can either take a picture of it or bring a sample of it to your local county extension office and they will give you advice on it. Uh, but you know, first of all, is when you get that soil sample, they will email you back the results. And then uh, you can take that and know how much fertilizer you actually need to buy and to apply. Uh, this has become crucial of late because a lot of phosphates have been running off into our local streams and have actually been uh, a real cause of pollution. So uh, it really is crucial to put down the right amount of fertilizer. Uh, other things that you want to look at that the soil test will tell you is the pH. So if the pH is too low, uh, certain nutrients become unavailable for the grass to absorb. So uh, you have, may want to raise the pH a little bit and obviously apply lime but you may not need to apply lime. So again, you just that, that soil test will tell you whether uh, what to apply and how to apply it and how much to apply. Uh, other things you may want to consider for the spring is aeration. Uh, a lot of areas that get heavily walked upon get compacted, so uh, go to a local uh, tool rental supply area and they will give you a, an aerator which will uh, essentially core your turf and uh, will allow the roots to obviously get some air. Uh, and you may want to consider dethatching your lawn. And again, you have to rent a, a thatching machine, but that will bring up some of the older thatch and root matter so that the water, the rains that we get will actually percolate into the soil better and you won't get that sheet flow across the top of your turf which happens when you get a lot of uh, thatching occurring. So uh, so anyway some things that are very basic but uh, turf is you know one of the things that we really enjoy the most uh, in our garden and uh, the springtime is a time to take care of that. So I, I truly hope that you will come and visit the gardens, whether it's this spring, this summer, or this coming fall, even in the winter months, because we have cross-country skiing, provided we get a good snowfall. Uh, if we have a website, uh, which is rutgersgardens.rutgers.edu, uh, it features all of our facilities, our rentals, our programs that go on. Uh, and I also encourage you to become a member. So uh, the gardens um, is, uh, not entirely self-supporting, the uh, university uh, supports it, but um, in order for us to grow and to add new gardeners, um, membership really does make a difference and help. So, uh, so please come out if you're GPSing it. Uh, best address to use is 130 Log Cabin Road, and that will bring you right into the gardens. And if you're looking for a phone number, it's 732-932-8451. So looking forward to seeing you in the gardens. 